All right, gang, welcome to Hanson's Speed Shop. It's time for another custom Hot Wheels build. And we're going to be doing this 67 Plymouth GTX from Hot Wheels. It comes in this really cool purple paint job. And this one's actually, it's in the package backwards. Normally, Hot Wheels are always facing the other way, showing the passenger side of the car. So this one was kind of a mistake car. Some people collect stuff like this. I don't. So we're opening it. Sorry. Um, but there's our car. The idea for this one, um, a while back we did a factory uh, experimental AFX altered wheelbase um, car called the Melrose Missile. We're going to be doing another car from that drag team from back in the 60s, but this time uh, super stock Melrose Missile. Um, we got some decals off of eBay. Um, let me dig them out here. These are actually for like HO slot cars, but I've used them on some of my builds now and they work out really good. Um, the stripes are a little bit long, so we might have to cut them down a little bit, but I think we should be able to get them to work. Um, so that's going to work out really good. Give this thing the same blue paint job. Some really cool rear rider wheels. We're going to get this thing to sit a little bit more with a rake. Give it that old school drag car look. Add some little details on it. Paint it up really cool. And it should be a sweet car. But first we're going to have to get this thing torn apart. Get that paint stripped off. And uh, start cleaning up the body. And then uh, we can go from there. Alright guys, so taking a look at our 67 GTX Melrose Missile car here. Um, we got all the paint stripped off, got the body cleaned up. Um, really no major modifications. Um, I have these really cool um, Hot Wheels um, chrome slotted mags with some slicks on it. These are the slightly smaller size. Um, as you can see... Um, show you here these are the bigger size ones and then these are the smaller slightly smaller so we're gonna run the slightly smaller ones just so that uh, it's gonna make my life a little bit easier trying to get these things to fit and then we also had to make a custom axle up front um, with the matching wheels up front um, so the next step is just gonna be to um, get this chassis to sit how I want it to and get our axles fitted in there and then this thing can go off to paint and detailing. All right, gang, it's time for the final unveil on our Hot Wheels 67 Plymouth GTX called the Melrose Missile. Did kind of a tribute bill here for my vintage drag car collection. Car came out pretty cool. Um, gave it a, uh, a little bit of a, a stance alteration, getting the back of the car up. Um, and uh, we had to channel out the back of the car, do a custom axle. The front of the car basically sits like how it would from Hot Wheels. And then uh, we threw on some really cool Hot Wheels slicks out back, chrome wheel rider wheels front back. Um, gave this thing a really cool metallic um, kind of ice blue paint job, just like the uh, real car with the white stripes on the side and on the top of the car. And then I added some uh, decals I found off of eBay. Uh, those worked out really good. Um, I left the interior in the car, the blue that it came from Hot Wheels. Um, I just thought it looked really cool and kind of a 60s-ish color and it worked with the uh, blue um, on the car. I just detailed out the steering wheel gauges and then there's like a little fire extinguisher in there. Um, and then uh, we detailed out, I added some hood pins, detailed out our grill, um, detailed out door handles, our taillights and everything. Uh, underneath the car, I eliminated uh, or tried to eliminate the uh, factory exhaust and they had like some side pipes on here. Just left the headers um, and then just painted everything body color and then detailed it out from there. So that came out pretty good. Overall, not too bad. Pretty happy with this one. I hope you guys dig it as much as I do. Give it a Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber to Hanson Speed Shop, hit that subscribe button. 
Um, I also added some little, the decals came with uh, some other decals that I didn't use on the car. I just used the side stripe. Uh, I had to shorten it a hair to get it to fit this particular casting. And then I added these little Mickey Thompson logos on the rear windows there on both sides. So that was kind of some, a little different. Um, but uh, basically, yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this one. Stick around for a few pictures of the car. Otherwise, until next time, guys, get to work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool. And we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.